field of nine lined up for race seven. Here they come. They're off and pacing sharp start for Apple Bottom Jeans. Quick away from the inside for Callahan. Speed outside from Caviar to Ally. And she'll drive to the front for McCarthy. Crossed over third in the meantime when C Swift Joy Gap of two. You're my candy girl from in fourth. Fifth inside to Kissin' in the sand. Then back into sixth as you go into the turn as betters up. Followed by Shower Play, Double A Mint. Kendall Sealster will study them all. The opening quarter in 26 and four. Caviar Allies racetrack tonight. She she leads the way to the back stretch from Carthy by two lengths. Back into second is Apple Bottom Jeans. Then C Swift Joy is third. Gap of two to You Are My Candy Girl. And position fifth is Kissing in the Sand. She's about to roll first up here with or without cover. And she'll get the cover of You Are My Candy Girl who comes first over here for Wah. Latching onto that helmet is Jingra with Kissing in the Sand. Then to the outside, betters up. Shower play, scooting through double mint. She'll save the ground. As will Kendall Sealster throw a 55 half. They move into the final turn. They're chasing after Caviar Ally. Here outside into second now is You're My Candy Girl. Third inside, Track Apple Bottom Jeans. The outside fourth, Kissing in the Sand. Well placed if good enough. Sea Swift Joy is buried fifth now. Gapped on cover, betters up sixth. Seventh through at the rail, that is double A mint. Shower play, mired in traffic back in eighth, as is Kendall Sealster from ninth. Three quarters, 121 and three. And McCarthy torched that third quarter in 26 and three with Caviar Ally. And she's a Open up three in the blink of an eye. Off the pocket trip. Apple bottom jeans can only watch the leader pace away. Here off cover. Kissing in the sand. Wailed wide. Sea Swift Joy. A deep stretch lead for Caviar Ally. And it's Caviar Ally who crushes them in the Milton. Caviar Ally by a pair over Kissing in the Sand and Sea Swift Joy. And Apple bottom jeans in 148 and 3. A new stakes record. Milton Stakes in the books, and Caviar and Ally repeats the feat, defends her title successfully. Andy McCarthy back here. Uh, new face change with this mayor this year. It'll be Brett Pelling. We'll talk to you in a few moments. Andy, I mean, talk about this mayor's performance. I, I mean, I knew what your game plan was as soon as that gate opened up, but how strong was she tonight? Yeah, she was terrific tonight. Um, you know, Brett's done a great job with her. She, um, she's been terrific all year, as you know. We just uh, run into Chartin every week. It uh, makes things tough, but... Um, yeah, she was definitely good tonight. Works out great. Uh, you know, Apple Bottom Jeans has got so much gate speed, and she's usually happy to follow us. So, uh, worked out good. We got to steal a little bit of a second quarter there, and uh, I figured she'd pace a pretty good back half. When that half rung up in 55, uh, in your head, what were you thinking percentage-wise? Were you thinking, I got this one? Well, yeah, I know how good she is. I um, I figured she'd be she'd be tough to catch from there. You know, um, a little disappointing at Pocono last start, but there were some issues there. Brett took care of them, and. Um, you know, she was, she was on a game tonight. I knew post parade that she was going to be good. She usually tells me she was uh, very focused and uh, had a mind on the job. Not many of them have repeated in this race. You've done it with her. Well done. Thank you. All right, Brett, we'll bring you in here. Welcome back to Canada. You've had plenty of success here over the years. Uh, you picked up this mare this year from Noel Daly, obviously a good friend. Um, just talk about what it's like to have a mare like this in the outfit. Well, she's just terrific. She's so consistent. She, um, she She's a great doer and... Uh, loves her work and she's, um, you know, relatively sound and doesn't mind traveling. Um, she's experienced a lot of wars and uh, she handles it. You know, the way she was racing coming off that last turn, your confidence level must have been pretty high too. I, I just didn't think uh, coming first off on her. It was the favorite first off and I said, you know what, that's a big ask. And uh, I was pretty confident. He was riding, hadn't pulled the plugs. Uh, I, I felt, you know what, she's, she's doing it tonight. Well, on the board, it said she was an underdog. I know she delivered. You're going to have another one that's pretty good that's going to look like an underdog in a couple of races as well. Poppy Rob Hanover, talk about that talented two-year-old Colt. You know what? There, there is not one negative thing to say about him. He, he's unbelievably intelligent, great-gated, strong, and, uh, you know, he, he knows what he's doing. I just warned him up here tonight, and he, he knew what it was from last week. So, uh, uh, you know, it, it's not a good spot, uh, but hopefully, you know, he can draw a position and... And, you know, if they mix it up, it's a fantastic night here tonight. Speed's holding up. Horses are closing. Uh, it, it's honest. So hopefully you just need a little bit of position. Well, good luck with him later on, and congratulations on this victory. Thank you. 
All right, there's Brett Pelling, Andy McCarthy for the Caviar Farms. Caviar Ally defends her title in the Milton.